I was like, I can't, I couldn't believe that you were saying this. You were saying, you know, that we can be proactive with our health. And just the fact that you're mentioning these things right now is so different. Do you realize how different your methods are? Well, but I've had 35 years in the trenches and I've been able to see it. I have patients that weigh 300 pounds and their ideal weight might be 220. Right. But if I can get them to lose not 30 pounds or 50 pounds, if I can get them to lose 10 pounds, I can typically demonstrate to them that their glucose level went down, their LDL cholesterol fraction went down, and their energy level went up. They feel better. Their blood pressure is better. And I can show them that. I said, you know, we don't have to do everything in, in a month, but if we just start making incremental changes, and that's what that's the way we're wired as humans. Yeah. When we make a little progress, it's, it's better and easier for us to make a little more progress. When I was, my wife and I were raising our kids, we made them do a half hour of study every morning in the summer. Not because we were taskmasters, though we may have been, yeah. <laughs> but it was because we wanted our kids to, at least in one subject area, develop an area where they felt like they were really good at it where they were experts at it. So we had seven-year-old children that could do the multiplication tables pretty darn well. They might not have been super at this, this, or this, but if they get a taste of doing well, a taste of achieving, a taste of excelling, Mm -hmm. that'll stimulate their appetite to want to do more. And I really think that's the way humans are wired. And it's the same way in terms of taking control of our own health. One of the biggest travesties that's gone on in the last 80 years in if you will, Western medicine, is if you go back to 1940, when we started to have availability of antibiotics, the world pivoted. All of a sudden, physicians became this incredible commodity. We became smarter in the space of a year. We became talented beyond imagination in the space of a decade. Christian Bernard did a heart transplant, and all of a sudden, there was nothing we couldn't do. What did that mean? That meant that People had to genuflect in front of physicians, never argue with them, and say, right. thank you, doctor, for being willing to see me. And that's all mixed up because, quite frankly, as we've watched healthcare unfold in the last two decades, we're seeing the cost of when patients don't champion their own health care. It's physicians pummeling, bullying, prodding, taking charge of patients' care and getting frustrated with patients for not getting it done. I've seen patients come to me because they've been kicked out of medical practices because they weren't doing well enough or they weren't willing to follow the doctor's recommendations, which is astonishing to me. Marcus Welby has gone out the window. Doctors are now the kingpin. We're George Patton walking around commanding the troops, what they'll do, when they'll do it, how they'll do it. And you don't get results then. Right. You don't. Right. We need to have patients be their own best champion. We right. need to remind patients that they're capable of it, that they don't have to be frightened, because when we frighten them, we paralyze them. And when we paralyze them, they are not as healthy as they could be. 